It's a beautiful bacon day, Cookie Crusaders. Today we're going to be talking about the seafaring team that I'm putting together in release with the new Candy Diver and Squid Ink Magic Candy. Now obviously we don't have Candy Diver yet and we can't fully test the team yet, but the idea currently is running all cookies from the sea. Candy Diver is going to be replacing Pure Vanilla in this build and we will also probably be replacing the Insignia with either the magic horn or the monocle uh, maybe even the feather it's hard to say at the moment just because my two thoughts is that with candy diver being unbeatable you technically only have four cookies so you want to make sure that the team is set up in a survival sense so that they can survive and take over the battle the insignia might stay really depends not sure how that would technically work with one cookie left that cannot be defeated but also that's usually when the insignia activates so i'll have to test that and see if that activates with the fourth cookie or if that would actually be a non-combo with candy diver hard to say but the toppings we're doing the full solid almonds for captain caviar we are doing the cooldowns with some good damage resistance on sorbet we are going with a full attack build with some decent damage resistance on as well. The full cooldown and damage resistance on Black Pearl. And for right now, we're just running some caramel toppings on Pure Vanilla for some speedy auto attack heals and giving that a shot. So let's take it into battle and show you what we're going to be running up against. Now it's in tight battles right now because two big reasons. One, the Magic Candy is not on Squid Ink yet. And two, we don't have Candy Diver's abilities happening. Now, when Candy Diver's ability is happening, we'll get not only defense reduction on the enemy unit, but we also get the damage amplification on the enemy unit too. And in addition, Squid Ink's cookie, uh, the Magic Candy will at the very least do the defense reduction on cookies, but that means that also the damage will increase against those cookies too. So. On this team, we have the Captain Caviar, and we will have Candy Diver that do damage reduction, or sorry, not damage reduction, defense reduction, but that also means Squid Inks is going to have that too. So what I hope to see is right now, as you can see, 300,000 is the damage we're getting from Squid Ink currently, and that's what the tax hearing toppings on. I am able to get a little bit higher with the cooldown toppings, but that's just honestly because Squid Ink lives a little bit longer. And so it's hard to gauge damage right now with Squid Ink. But what's very interesting and what could happen is that when Candy Diver and the Magic Candy are both activated and the defense reduction from Captain Caviar happens, Squid Ink hopefully should catapult to a much higher damage output than we're seeing here. And we have about 916,000 healing from Pure Vanilla. That's mostly due to the reduction from the enemy Black Pearl, but also because Pure Vanilla dies very easily since we don't have a very protective setup against on Pure Vanilla. But the reason I set Pure Vanilla up on that is that when Candy Diver comes out, HP, damage resistance, defense, none of that's going to matter specifically on Candy Diver. So we wanted to set up a topping setup focusing on speed, and focusing on cooldown and focusing on amplification buff stats because those are really the three stats that I'm going to focus on on Candy Diver. So we wanted to test that on Pure Vanilla as a example of what we might be able to expect from Candy Diver because we don't really fully know yet. And we also don't have a full idea of how the healing is going to work from Candy Diver either, if there will even be much of that. So it may not work in that sense the same as it does with Pierre Vanilla. And hopefully this is a good example to see what could come of it. But as you can see, the other C cookies, great damage. Sorbet, great damage. Caviar, still great damage. Black Pearl, tremendous damage. So really, if we can get that buff from the Magic Candy on Squid Ink, then I think that we can catapult into a very very powerful setup and hopefully be at that point now if we take it the other way if we go over to pure vanilla and we put cooldown toppings on pure vanilla 
that we may put on Candy Diver that we're thinking will end up being the full-on setup is we can do cooldown and attack speed and amplification buffing. So let's take that. Let's just set that up. No damage resistance focus because, as I said, that's not what we're going, what we're going to run on Candy Diver. So we will attempt that and see how the battle goes with that setup. So like just faster skill activation, but not really a lot of protection. So almost guaranteed that Pier is going to die super quickly, as you can see right there. But the cooldown activations maybe gets the ability going just a little bit faster. We're going to see how that roughly changes the outcome of our team against the same team that we just fought. Because it may make a huge difference. And as you can see already, between the timing changeup and the skill activation changeup, they actually had a lot more health left over from their cookies in comparison to when we had the other toppings on. But that's because we had damage resistance on Pure Vanilla at that point with those attack speed toppings. So Pure Vanilla was able to survive just a little bit longer. Not much healing difference, but at least enough to make a full difference of the auto attack heals. So, hopefully this has been helpful for you guys. I know it's just a prequel to the team that's coming. We did, with this setup, get a little bit more damage out of Black Pearl, but we did not get as much out of Sorbet as we would have, because Sorbet did not last as long as when we had the attack speed toppings. But this is the team being switched out as just Candy Diver, and for Pure Vanilla, we're going to test out a bunch of different treasures, a few different topping layouts, see what really works the best, and what transcends into the PvP arena. I think this could be a pretty viable team. Obviously there's some other teams I'll be testing too, some other setups, and other game modes as well. But let me know in the comments what you think. Do you think that this could be a viable team when Candy Diver comes out and when the Magic Candy is level 10 plus on Squidding? Do you think that it's going to be powerful enough to take on the current metas? The only reason I think it does is just because we have two units geared towards taking out frontline tanks, which is what most of the meta is right now. And potentially, the reason it could be good against the other side of the meta is because Caramel Arrow speed teams really rely on being able to target cookies. Black Pearl, Sorbet, and Squid Ink can all teleport. And then with Candy Diver being untargetable, that means that if we have the timings lined up right, only Captain Caviar is the one in danger. But at a 47% damage resistance with potential good heals from Candy Diver, depending on what the skill is, that might actually be pretty tough for Caramel Arrow to achieve. So overall, it's an interesting concept, fun team, and I just want to see team to build because then we have our own C build rather than a summoner build or a tank build or a four quad build. We get a full-fledged C build. And so, yes, we could technically pull that off with someone like Mango, or even running some other options, but we need at least one healer in the team. Without running a healer, we don't have a full C team that has a viable survival rate. Because we could put Sea Fairy or Mango in right now and have five C cookies. Totally doable, but it just it wouldn't survive. So for that reason, we need that healer, and Candy Diver hopefully will be that answer. So I'm looking very much forward to it and seeing what we can pull off. Thank you so much for stopping by and have a wonderful night.